Hey, what's going on guys? Killer6 back with another hotfix video for you and today is uh, January 30th, 2020 and we got hotfix notes. Um, Alright, so today we'll release hotfix which will be live on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC by 3 p.m. Eastern or uh, I'm sorry, Pacific time. Uh, the hotfix activates rare chest riches event. Oh, okay. Uh, addresses drop rates and implements permanent scaling. Oh, permanent scaling. Okay, uh, let's, let's go down here and get into the thing. Uh, make sure always make sure that you guys see that hotfix applied sign in the background when you're on the main menu because that is the thing that will make this stuff work if you don't see that sign then you're gonna be on the old hotfix so i'm uh, sorry i just punched my microphone all right so uh today they're going to activate the rare chest uh riches event which runs until february 13th we'll read more about that here in a second i'm sure uh increase the chance to receive legendary loot from red car trunk chests uh, that's cool. I don't actually see these very often, so uh, that's pretty neat, though. Uh, addressed a reported issue, the player could sometimes rise into the sky with the cannon during the one man's treasure mission. I never saw that happen, so I don't know. All right, uh, true takedown mode. We've been looking at feedback received during the scaling event for takedown at the Mallow and Black site and decided to make this scaled event permanent starting today. If you guys hear jackhammering in the background, I can't help that. They're actually working in my basement right now, which is why I'm not live on twitch.tv slash killer6. Um, got some work being done in the basement, so, uh, it's gonna be a little loud in here. Uh, <laughs> I do apologize if you guys hear that. Uh, in a February update, we will include a new switch to re-enable what we call True Takedown Mode. True Takedown Mode will restore the takedown to the four-player experience that it launched with for extra difficulty. Yes, so this is the best of both worlds. So, everybody that's enjoying the single-player difficulty on Takedown, you're set. Everybody that likes the ability to play as a solo player with four-player difficulty, giving you that challenge, you guys are going to have that option. Uh, it says, once implemented, a lever activating true Takedown mode will be located on the right side of the door, leading out of the airlock at the beginning of the map. Nice. That's perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is perfect. Good job. All right, uh, rare spawns and drop rates. Once the farming frenzy event is over, we are implementing a permanent change to the rare spawns and drop rates. <gasps> After analyzing play patterns, we are permanently increasing, yes, the rare spawn rate. Yes, thank you. It sounds, it, okay, I'm make sure I read this right. Yes, it looks like they are locking in the rare spawns and the drop rates, yes. And their anointed chance. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was so dreading the, the thought of today possibly seeing those things roll back because I did not enjoy uh, farming the RNG just to get them to possibly spawn and then hoping that they possibly drop something, then hoping that it was the right element, and then hoping it was the right anointment. <laughs> so having them spawn every time is a dramatic improvement, so that's awesome. All right, so here's what the Rare Chest Riches event is. Uh, when the hotfix rolls out today before 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, a new event will be activated. During the Rare Chest Riches event, which runs until February 13th at 8.59 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, all rare chests will drop rare loot at an increased rate. So you're more likely to receive legendary items anytime you open one. This increased drop rate will also apply when you watch a Twitch streamer open a rare chest, assuming that both of you have the Echo Cast Twitch extension which also works on your phone, by the way. So even if you're like at work or something like that, uh, you can just mute the stream, have the echo cast open. If you see a streamer opening up a rare chest, you can click the little button and then you got a chance to uh, get the rare loot that's inside that chest. So it's really cool, really fast and easy. And if you guys don't uh, already know, I stream pretty much every weekday, Monday through Friday over at twitch.tv slash killer six. There is a link down in the description of this video. If you want to click on that, Go over there and just hit the follow button. It costs you nothing. It's completely free to watch me live. Uh, that is where I uh, record everything for like the playthroughs. A lot of times that's where I record some videos, some top 10 stuff gets done over there live. So you guys get to see, it's basically almost like a behind the scenes 24 seven kind of thing. Uh, so if you want to head over there, click on that, hit the follow button. If you want, you can even choose to be notified anytime I go live. And that way, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, just popping in every day, you, you'll get like a little pop-up on your phone that says K6 is live now, and you can click on that, and it takes you right to the stream. So, these are awesome. I, I'm I'm 100% on board with all of this stuff. Thank you, Gearbox, for keeping the rare uh, spawns and drop rates locked in. Uh, the next thing that we need from them, though, is we need the loot pools spread out. Uh, right now, again, I, I'm like a broken record on this thing, and I know they've heard me 
And I just want to reiterate to you guys, because I think it's important that everybody knows this, there are over 50 named enemies that either do not respawn or they respawn and they don't drop anything at all. And that's 50 more spots you can move legendary items to to spread the loot pools out. Because, like, think of it right now. Borminates has three legendary drops. He has a specific drop in the Psycho Stabber. Only he can drop that. He can also drop the Cutsman, and he can drop the Saw Bar. Now, both of those things can World Drop, but if you move the Saw Bar out of his loot pool, then all of a sudden he only has two legendary items that you have to worry about him potentially dropping. When it's three, it, it's, it's too much. It's too much, in my opinion. So take that Saw Bar, move it over to somebody else. Same thing with a lot of the other enemies. There's a lot of named enemies in this game right now that have three or more legendary drops in their loot pool. And they just need to be spread out. You know, luckily we have the world drop system. So a lot of times you can find things randomly. But if you're looking for that specific um, element, anointment uh, on a specific weapon, then, you know, obviously farming the dedicated source is almost always the fastest way to go for it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think about these changes. Hopefully everybody's cool with this. I can't imagine that anybody is not happy about this. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the sound of a jackhammer during video. <laughs> and uh, there should be uh, more episodes of my Mara playthrough going up. Uh, there'll be a new one today, a new one tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying that. I've been having a lot of fun with the series. Now that we can actually farm for things, it makes doing playthroughs fun. And now that they've locked this in, it's going to make playthroughs really, really fun. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Jackhammer out.